In this edition of INN CEO Talks, I'm joined by Hector Bremner, the CEO of Avracor, a pharmacy service innovator focused on acquiring and developing early stage technologies aimed at moving pharmacy forward. Hector, welcome. It's good to see you. Great to see you again, Stuart. You know, I remember talking to you a couple of years ago about this and you're really moving forward. Tell us about your flagship authoring uh, offering HealthTab. HealthTab is a really interesting turnkey solution for pharmacy to be able to offer screening tests and uh, management tools for community pharmacists to work with patients to manage their disease outcomes. So the big focuses for us right now are diabetes and heart disease. Uh, we're currently expanding with Shoppers Drug Mart. Uh, we, we just uh, signed an agreement to go up to 450 locations in Canada. Uh, that will include um, also Real Canadian Superstore, where they are launching a very exciting innovation uh, in with uh, in Alberta first uh, with a pharmacy walk-in clinic to take some of the pressure off GP offices. But essentially, what the pharmacy does with Health Tab is. Uh, they run um, finger stick blood tests on our partners Ab at Abbott's uh, instruments where uh, the blood chemistry is done in the instrument. Our technology uh, does calculations on those results, takes other information about the patient and merges that information in real time and gives that patient a result uh, that they can keep uh, and use and track their results over time. Uh, but also the pharmacy, the community pharmacist now has this information, which is something they've never had access to before. And so it's a very powerful tool where data and real information in real time is being used for care right there in the community pharmacy. So no extra trips to the lab, no extra trips to doctor's offices. The pharmacist can collaborate with the physician and the patient right there on site. So in essence, you're bringing the lab into the pharmacy with a finger prick. The patient then, uh, in real time, then gets information that talks uh, about what their current health status is. Do I have that right? That's correct. And so this is very exciting time for uh, the sector, which is called point of care testing. Of course, many people watching have taken a, a point of care test uh, during the pandemic. Um, but this is a really fast growing sector. It's growing a annual growth rate of about 9%, 9.5% uh, a year. Uh, it's currently, uh, as of July, of almost $43 billion US industry. Um, it's expanding dramatically. And keep in mind, community pharmacy is about a $1.5 trillion US business around the world. But it's going through a really interesting time. And they're getting away from dispensing, which is putting pills in a bottle and, and just handing it out. And they're moving more into a service model. And there's a bunch of reasons for that. But the point is, is that there's a tremendous opportunity for serving community pharmacy chains, which are these um, thriving businesses uh, that are really excited to move forward into more services and support individuals taking more control of their health. Uh, but they need the tools to do it. And developing it internally is not really uh, a strong suit. Uh, there's been some attempts and, and they haven't really worked particularly well. Um, there's been some other companies that do parts of what we do, um, but it's only in part. We are the first offering where it's a complete package. It works. It's scalable. Um, we're uh, at revenue now. We're beginning our first scale with a, a major pharmacy chain. And we think the future is really bright for not only Canada, but U.S., Europe, uh, and beyond. You know, it's been explained to me that pharmacists are the most accessible healthcare uh, providers or professionals in our healthcare system. You can get to uh, pharmacists at least 18 hours a day and in many cities 24 hours a day. And without having, now you're taking out that step of having to go to the lab to get the information to the pharmacist, who, as you pointed out, is now empowered to start to make uh, dosing and prescription recommendations. I, I, I think this is a very interesting step and it, it helps to move things forward in a congested healthcare system. Absolutely. You know, the dominating the news cycle right now is, uh, you know, last year we start to see, uh, thanks to the pandemic, many physicians had either closed their doors, the economics wasn't working for them. Uh, general practice 
is a challenging business for a, a medical uh, student coming into the world today. Uh, they can make a lot more money, uh, frankly, going into uh, the hospital environment. And But even there, they're taxed to be able to meet uh, the demands there. So now, in 2022, we're seeing a, a new sort of cycle dominated by the fact that there is not enough even uh, care possible in our emergency rooms. But the only other place you can walk in the door and get health care besides an emergency room is a pharmacy. And the pharmacists are there. Um, these are privately capital, capitalized businesses. They have all the infrastructure. They have the healthcare professionals there on site. Uh, they go to medical school. Uh, many are doctors of pharmacy or specialists in uh, pharmaceutical services, and they're excited to support the healthcare system. They just needed the scope of practice and the tools to do it. So we give them the tools, and we're very proud of our partners, uh, Abbott and um, Shoppers Drug Mart, of, of pioneering this. But what also is really fantastic is uh, the government of Alberta several years ago expanded the scope of practice uh, in Canada for community pharmacists where they're able to do limited prescribing and uh, do point-of-care testing. Um, Ontario, as of July 1st of this year, 2022, uh, the uh, pharmacists there are now officially uh, able to conduct the point-of-care tests. But on January 1st, 2023, they will also be able to do the limited prescribing. This also means tools like ours will really support the evidence-based decisions that they'll be making and give regulators, uh, physicians, uh, and, and the broader healthcare community the confidence of knowing that decisions that are being made in the community pharmacy are the right decisions. Uh, but there's also another element to this, that is uh, private health insurers, public health insurance, um, uh, and, and research in academia, but also the very large and lucrative uh, world of clinical trials and product manufacturers, they can use our platform as well. So they can use it to generate information in community, in real time, across multiple locations using our tool. So it's all cloud-based. Um, of course, we're fully compliant with all the uh, privacy and FSQ rules around uh, data management. Uh, the patient uh, provides their own consent. Uh, they can withdraw their consent at any time. Uh, however, what we find is, is that patients are excited to uh, be able to get this information, uh, share it with their healthcare team, and use that information and get beyond the healthcare as usual, which is more of a disease care system where we we find individuals only once they're fully symptomatic uh, and get to a true healthcare situation where a healthcare system is one that identifies disease early, treats and prevents upfront, and produces better outcomes from the patient. The best place to do that, one of the best places to do that, is with point of care testing in the community pharmacy. So what's the scale of this market, uh, Hector, uh, you know, just in Canada and uh, sort of uh, an ancillary question to that is, do you envision going beyond Canadian borders as you roll out? Yeah, 100 percent. We well, the the market in Canada is quite substantial. There's about 10,000 pharmacies across the country. Um, we see um, that as a, a great incubator for us to use as a, as a launch pad to go into other markets. And we are currently engaged in discussions in other markets. We do see this as a, a global initiative. Uh, Health Tab is not a Canadian enterprise in and of itself. It is truly something that can scale internationally. Um, and that is its power, is that you're able to get information from jurisdictions across the world in real time from community pharmacies and uh, run a really exciting real world evaluation studies. If you're a, a drug maker or an insurer or a researcher, this is a very exciting opportunity. But also there are uh, pharmacy groups that um, have stores over very large swaths of areas and they wanna offer, much like Shoppers Drug Mart, wants to offer a consistent service across the jurisdictions. And so what they're able to do now is an individual that is perhaps um, served with health tab in one jurisdiction, they can have an appointment in another part of the country with their community pharmacist. And that same login, there's um, the same process, uh, and there's that consistency of information. So you're not stuck in this siloed situation, which we commonly are with healthcare, where I get healthcare over here, but if I get healthcare over there, all that information is lost and the conversation is starting from scratch again. So health tab creates a consistency. Um, it's using data in a way to make um, more effective decisions, uh, and the patient, most importantly, is engaged in this. That's a, a really powerful piece of all this, is that if the patients are not involved, if they don't feel like they have 
um, a play in any of this. Um, they don't tend to participate in the program, but our usage rates are through the roof. We are, um, patients are excited. The pharmacy teams are excited and uh, we think we have very high growth potential um, into the US, EU, UK. So to grow, to fill that market in Canada and to move, what's your ability to scale up and, and meet those market needs? Do you have the resources that you need right now? Today we're fully funded. We are uh, not raising money. We will be looking at uh, potentially more conventional debt vehicles, uh, this, this conventional in terms of a business with revenues. Um, I think what if you're watching us as uh, an investor, you're going to be watching our quarterly reports. You're going to see substantial revenue growth over the next successive quarters. Um, by next year, um, we will be um, a very fast growing enterprise in terms of uh, cash flow positive revenues. And, um, you know, it's an exciting opportunity to get in on a Canadian enterprise that's innovating at a global scale. Uh, that's doing something with some of the world's largest players. And uh, we've demonstrated through the pandemic that we had strong cash management policies, a clear focus. Everything that we said we would do, we've done. Uh, we have systematically checked off our goals. We have very ambitious goals uh, in the future. Uh, and I'm confident that we're going to get there. We have the right team. Uh, we have the right focus. We have the right discipline. We have the right partners. And um, now we have the revenues coming in um, where we can be uh, profitable, self-funded, and uh, a really great growing enterprise. So you talked about, you know, watch our quarterly reports, but in the next quarter or two, what's uh, one other significant element that investors or potential investors ought to keep their eye on? Well, I think what you really want to be watching is how quickly we can get to cash flow positive because this business is set up in such a way where it does not need uh, long ranges in order to get into the black. Uh, you're going to start to see even by Q1, uh, maybe possibly even Q4 of this year, that we'll be in uh, cash flow positive territory. Um, we have very quick repay on our capital expenditures. We have uh, again, fantastic partners that have really leaned in um, and, and worked with us with really fantastic um, uh, partnerships and terms with us. And uh, all of that adds up to a business with a very high degree of confidence that it can meet the market demand. Um, we're built in such a way where, uh, you know, people will be uh, often asking the question, like, who's the competition? You know, today, you know, there's device manufacturers, there's software, there's real, the, the best manufacturer, the, the most uh, successful manufacturer uh, we're partnered with. Um, they're very excited about us. We're very excited about them at Abbott. And uh, when we look at um, our ability to manage cash growth, manage uh, our expenditures to acquire new dollars, uh, and our partnerships. I think people can see a real clear picture that's starting to form here, that this is a business that's finding its time and meeting a very large, fast grossing growth, growth market demand um, and uh, has all the right pieces in place to, to meet it. Well, Hector, I think that you're in a very interesting space at, a, at an appropriate time as we see the challenges that the healthcare system in Canada and also in the United States are facing. You're helping to streamline part of that process. You know, I'm quite excited to see how things are going to unfold for you, and I hope you'll come back and give us updates in the future. I will do, and I appreciate your time. It's always great to see you, Stuart. Yeah, thanks, Hector.